My uh, first guest tonight is, uh, he's got a new film out. So there's a clue for what he does for a living. <laughs> if you think movie star, ding, correct. <laughs> His movie's called The Hurt Locker. It's in theaters June the 26th. Take, take a look at this. <laughs> Hey, 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 when I want your woos, I'll ask you for them. There's only one woo around here, and it's this one. Please welcome Guy Pierce, everybody. Guy Pierce. Welcome, welcome to the show. Where I, look, I look different with that mobile phone and that clip. Don't you I? do look very different in mm -hmm. the show. They've got you all covered up, and if you don't mind me saying so, you look a bit different with your glasses on. I look different. Well, everything looks different when I take them off. Actually. Really? Have you got? But I've got terrible eyesight too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit... Oh, there you better. are. Yeah, that's better. better. I feel I can see you better now. Terrible now, uh, eyesight. How are you? Are you still I'm pretty good. Still Australian? I'm still Australian. Yeah, yes, nice. yes, I still have my English roots. Uh, well, no, but they're still you, there. And, uh, but you moved, you moved to Australia. When I was quite young. How at, young? At three. Three, oh, yeah. When I've had enough of this cold weather, I'm off. And you, where, where, do you, where are you from there? You grew up in Melbourne? Uh, just south of Melbourne, in a, in a city called Geelong. So it's the next largest city in Victoria. So it's only an hour away from Melbourne. Geelong? Geelong. So it's an Aboriginal word, but I'm not actually sure what it means. Watering hole, probably. No, no, no. I, I, I think it sounds a bit rude, actually. Geelong, don't yeah, you Yeah, yeah. Geelong. Oh, oh, Geelong. How Geelong yeah, is yeah, that? Yeah. Oh, look at the Geelong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've, been to, uh, I've been to Australia. Have yeah. you really? Yeah, I've been to Melbourne. You'd be quite popular there, I imagine. Um, not when I went, no. Really? I... Did, you cause, <laughs> did you cause a ruckus? That's why I thought you would have been quite well, popular. Well, yeah. Well, you see, the thing is, drinking, of course, is very popular. Are you it a, is. Are you a notorious drunk? Or, uh... Uh, when, I, when I am a drunk, I'm quite notorious. Yeah. I try these days to... Because um, yeah. Russell Crowe was here. He's a terrible drunk. Uh, Look, I, I don't want to comment. Uh, I don't want to comment mean, on I, anyone else's drunken, uh, drunken no, abilities. Oh, he, no, he's fantastic. But, you know, he's... Whoa. And he threw a phone at that guy in the hotel. I'm like, yeah, good on you. Well, he, yeah. I, think he's, I think his beer was empty, so... Right. Yeah. All he had was the phone. You don't, you're not a phone thrower. I'm not a phone thrower, and I'm not a beer drinker. I'm the only Aussie that doesn't drink beer. What do you drink? I like a bit of vodka, perhaps. A bit of white oh. wine. Uh, vodka and white wine together. Together. Oh, yeah, it's a nice. nice mix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they call that don't the... Don't muck about, I say. <laughs> it's the Geelong special. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> they call it the Geelong. Yeah, yeah. no, very right. nice. Give us a couple of Geelongs. Yeah. Do you ever go up to, to Melbourne, then? In, into the city of Melbourne? Oh, yeah. I mean, I live in Melbourne. I'm close to Melbourne now. Uh, you know. Do you ever go to Fitzroy? Yes. I used to go to the Fitzroy area and uh, St Kilda. St Kilda. Well, I live right near St Kilda. Really? These are very sort of um, urbane uh, suburbs in Melbourne that are very popular. Yeah. Well, St Kilda used history. to be very rough. Yeah. They've, it's one of those suburbs now that they've kind of cleaned it all up all and right. all the uppies have come in from out of town and so all the prostitutes have to be sort of, you know, sent to Geelong now. <laughs> So it's really boring. So you're now, implying Geelong, that I was uh, only going Kilda. to St Kilda for the prostitutes. That's what you're saying. No, no, you, 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 were, you were talking about Fitzroy. I yeah, said yeah, nothing no. about prostitutes in Fitzroy. Well, there, there were no prostitutes they in Fitzroy. They went to St Kilda. <laughs> <laughs> They I, keep being shut. Yeah, they keep well, so to speak. When, oh, when will we find a place for ourselves? <laughs> right. Yeah. Geelong. They yeah, yeah. Geelong, Geelong welcomes prostitutes. Maybe they should put that on their T-shirts and on the town banner. Yeah, I think that would work well for uh, for uh, tourism. Yeah, well, they, I'm going to try and promote certain that. type of tourism. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. probably you get your uh, your Bangkok trade in there. <laughs> I think there's quite a there's quite a sort of deal going on with Bangkok, and I'm not going to go. Right. There. Okay. Uh, anyway, up in uh, up in uh, Fitzroy. Yes. I used to. I worked at a club. When were you there? How long ago oh, were you there? Oh, gee, fifteen years ago, mm -hmm. more maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a club called The Last Laugh. The Last Laugh. It's still there. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's you know it's a notorious and no, I, I uh, infamous and well-known uh, comedy club for acts like yourself and oh, oh. other big drinkers that come to town. Yeah. No, I was going to say that. I wonder if I should maybe call them and apologise. I can do that for you when I go back. Well, when you go... I go you... I'm going back next week, so I'll, I'll make sure I... I well, there's stop a guy called Fitzroy. Rick that works there. Okay. Yeah, very nice man. Just go ahead and say, Rick, uh, the guy from Scotland says... Um, he's very sorry. Really sorry. Yeah, yeah, very sorry. If I said that to him, he would say, which guy from Scotland? Yeah, he might. There's Actually, been a yeah, lot no, of guys might. from Scotland. Yeah, yeah. I think you're safe. Right, okay. Have I you ever been to Adelaide? 
Yes, I have actually. I like Adelaide. Adelaide's a, Adelaide's a special place. Adelaide cops a bit of flack from the rest of Australia. Yeah, no, it's kind of the... Well, well it's very sweet. It's a little... They say about Adelaide that they closed down all the lunatic asylums and just let everybody out and sort of wander the streets. <laughs> I, I liked it. I apologise to anybody from Adelaide now yeah. who may be offended by that joke, but I reckon it's true. Well, <laughs> what I remember most about Adelaide is they had a very nice park, and then two blocks over from the park was the Crazy Horse Strip Tea Saloon. Did you ever go to the Crazy Horse Strip Tea Saloon in Adelaide? Look, I can't say that I did. Did they let the horses out of the Crazy Horse Strip Tea Saloon when they let all the other... In a manner of speaking, right. some things were let out. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they were... <laughs> You could call them horses if you wanted. Sure, that's yeah. one way of pronouncing it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, they, they, they all, and then they all went to Geelong. And did, uh, that's right, they all did. Yeah. Did you perform in Adelaide? Yeah, in the Crazy Horse Strip Tea Saloon. Right. Yeah. Right. Were, no, you I, the, were you the front half or the back half? Of the performing of horse? Of the Crazy Horse. Yeah, no, no, no. Now, when did you come to America then? Do you live here now? No, I don't live here, but I'm oh. sort of backwards and forwards. I mean, I, I came here first probably in 94. We did some promotion for Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Oh, yeah, it's very good. On that. That was a, there was a lot of wearing girls' clothes in that There movie. was a lot of Crazy Horse business yeah, in yeah. that. And visiting, uh, visiting... I've seen it 150 times. Have you really? Yeah, actually. I think I probably have. <laughs> I've seen it a lot. It's one of those movies is that... Is it my you... white fluffy G-string that you can't take your eyes off? Is that uh, what keeps drawing you back? Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I came here first then in 94, and, uh, you know, I just kind of come back a couple of times a year, and, oh, you know, right. if I've got some work or promotional stuff, or I've now got a bunch of friends here, so... Really? Yeah. Oh, that's... Are they all Australians? No, no, I don't... Americans? Yes, American friends. You mingle? I do mingle. <laughs> I'm quite a mingler. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Thank you very much. Do you, uh, do, when you come here, do you miss the uh, dangerous killer uh, wildlife of Australia? You know, the deadly spiders, the kangaroos that'll beat you up, all yes. that kind of stuff. Yes, you know, that's why I've had to mingle. Yeah, yeah. No, in Hollywood. It, I remember hearing this thing, yeah. It to was, get my uh, sort of swimming with the sharks kind yeah. of uh, fix. The, uh, when I was in Australia, they, they had um, the koala bears. Which are not actually not bears, actually bears you know, yeah, yeah. But they're, it's, they're, I know, it sounds better if you say koala bear. Yeah, well, what would you, koala marsupial? You koala. Know? Koala. Just the koala. Well, they've got the koalas. You know the koalas mm -hmm. they have there? And their diet is eucalyptus leaves. Yes. And that's all they eat. Yes. And then... And they're hallucinogenic. They're hallucinogenic. Know. So what they eat is also You didn't try to eat. You didn't hear this. I and tried. Try yeah, I tried. Your yeah. own. Get me a bag of them. Yeah, I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll take, take a bag of them. I'll take the koalas have it. Give me one of those. A couple of beers and a bag of them. You yeah, can yeah. just leave. Thanks. Yeah. Clunk. No, I tried it. It doesn't work on humans, apparently. <laughs> well, you get sick, I think, before you fall out of your tree. But you can drink past that usually. But they do. It's true. They, they fall out of they trees. They fall out of the trees. That's true. You have to be careful. That's you have to wear that's, a, that's right. You have to wear a crash helmet in the jungle. Yeah. It's they really call it true. the bush in Australia, don't they? The bush, that's Yeah, you right. have to wear a crash, crash helmet in, in the, the bush. bush. <laughs> <laughs> Which takes us full circle right back, back to the to St. Kilda and Geelong. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, so tell me about the film then. What's uh, this film about? Is we it... play, a, you know, we're, we're a bomb disposal unit in Iraq, so it's, it's fairly heavy. There's well, yeah, Jeremy yeah. Renner, Anthony Mackie and Brian Garrity and myself, and it's really... It really focuses on the the day-to-day, the, -day, the mundane, as well as the horrendously difficult work that they have to do. But right. just the just for the guys, what they have to experience on a day-to-day -day level, really trying to keep their heads together as well as trying to survive. And you're qu you're quite uh, famously uh, um, rigorous about finding out about these things before you play them, aren't you? To a certain extent, I am. It kind of yeah. it kind of depends. It sort of depends on the script, and it really depends on what I'm playing. You know, I I only like to take on as much as is useful, which is probably a fairly obvious thing to say, but there comes a point, I think, sometimes where, for me, it feels like overload, and if I'm, if I'm having to try and remember too much information that's outside of what I'm concentrating on emotionally in the script, then I'll let it go. Right, you know? right. Yeah, so sometimes I'll do a lot of research, other times I'll you just really hope that... Just the, put on the pants I'll just make go. it up. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Do you, do you ever miss... I used to watch you on Neighbours, the, the Australian soap opera yes. that, that was... Uh, Which, thankfully, no one here knows about. Yeah, no, in Britain it was huge. Yeah. The, the theme tune, everybody used to sing the theme tune. That's when good neighbours become good friends. That's right. <laughs> I know, it was, a popular, uh, it was a popular time, wasn't it? Yeah, good time. Yeah. Rem you're reminiscing now? Yeah, I'm reminiscing now, right? Yeah. <laughs> There was a bit of beer drinking, I think, on, oh, uh, yeah, on yeah, Neighbours. Yeah. I don't think we visited St Kilda, though. What, in Neighbours? Or Adelaide. No, Crazy no, Horse, no. What so. about Sydney? You ever go to Sydney? We did a lot of publicity in Sydney, yeah. Did you ever go to the Club Kakadu in Sydney? <laughs> no, actually. Uh, should I? Yeah. Yeah? Should I go there and apologise for you as well? 
I've got a serious. You don't tip. need to apologise at the club. I've got a tour to do in Australia, haven't I? The, the sort of yeah, the, yeah. the Craig. We call it the Craig Ferguson amends tour. Craig's you do is you apology go around, list. Yeah, yeah. Just, just go around and apologise to people. Craig's apology list. Yeah, yeah it's okay. lovely to it's lovely to meet you. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Film. It's very nice to be on the show. Thank Guy you. Guy Pearce, much. everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> My first guest tonight is in a new film called Lockout, which is in theatres on Friday. Take a look at this. Join us this evening. I'm very pleased you're here. A, I haven't seen your new glasses, and they look splendid. Thank you very much. And B, we were discussing Canberra earlier this evening with some other Australians. And, and I'm honoured. I'm honoured that there's some Canberra lesbians on the show. Well, I don't know. Because they don't get out much, I have to say. Yeah, am I wrong about Canberra? Is no, it? no, no, no. Right. There's a lot wrong about Canberra, but you're not wrong about Canberra. Right, hey. I was kind of concerned that perhaps I would lose my loyal army of Australian, well, a couple of Australian people that watch the show. But yeah. You lost them a long time ago. Oh, so, come uh, on, they've, man. They've, they've, they've I've never channels. been to Canberra. You've been there? I have, actually, yes. I went, uh, we filmed there once. There's a, the Institute of Sport is in Canberra, which these lovely ladies will uh, uh, be aware of. Clearly, yeah. they're very fit. Um, uh, so we filmed at the Institute that, of Sport. Is that some kind of code? <laughs> Australian code? You ladies know what I'm talking about. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, we're in America. Wait, are you, is that something to do with breasts? I can't, it, is it I can't with... actually say, but $2,500, oh, I think. Oh, uh, gotcha. Nice. And, uh... Money up front, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> uh, so to speak. Yeah, I, I have to say, I think that's a terribly low price. I think that's... Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have I would have thought a lot more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Based, on, uh, yeah. based on your experience. Yeah, I'm, my experience I'm is everything you've myself. got. Tootsie Fruits. Pockets as well. <laughs> um, now... Uh, tell me about the uh, about the film then. You fall through oh, a shaft right. and a girl uh, that helps girl's you. There. That's yeah, girl's yeah, there, that's and that's nice. the end of the movie. It's that's fantastic. Very good movie. I hand the money over, and then we're done. No, come on. Look, it's a rescue mission. It's a rescue story. I'm I'm. Uh, it's set in the future. Mm. Maggie Grace plays the president's daughter. She goes out to this sort of intergalactic prison in Ooh, outer space. The, the space. Oh, space. In that's outer good. space. Mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to see that the prisoners are uh, being you know, well taken care of. Something goes wrong and I'm sent out to rescue her. From, a, from uh, being held hostage by inter hostage. intergalactic alien and the, prisoners? And the prisoners uh, are from Earth, but, but right. they're, they're in a sort of a, a state called stasis, so they're asleep. So they're all woken up and they're all terribly grumpy. Oh, yeah. And, that can uh, happen with prisoners. They're someday. fighting over who's going to pay the two, the two fights. <laughs> I love the idea that they're... Like they're 500 they're, of them, which yeah. adds up to about a million bucks. I think. Yeah. So she does all right out of it. No, 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 this Sorry. is not the movie at all. You've added that bit. I like the idea That's of these the guys being... That's the sequel. I like the guys being terribly grumpy when they wake up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, oh, I'm terribly grumpy. <laughs> I thought I was here for another 20 years. And actually, a couple of our, a couple of our leading uh, stars in the show, uh, Vincent Regan and, um, and Joe Gilgan, who play our prime baddies, are actually playing them as Scots. Ooh. I don't know where they got that idea from, but they do a pretty good job. Wait, wait, wait. Are they Scottish actors? No. Uh-oh. <laughs> You know when can I they, do the Australian can accent, they you're like, the accent, uh, that's the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when I hear people like, -I 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 does this mean that you're not going to go and watch the? Film? No, on the contrary, I'll be seeking <laughs> it out. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there with my notepad and my pitchfork. I knew that would get him in. No, I knew no. that would get him at the cinema. Do you go and see your movies when they come out? Like, uh, do you go to the cinema? Yes, like... I line up, I pay, I pay do the you ticket. Really? No, of course not. Why not? <laughs> Because they're crap. I wouldn't go oh, and see them. Come on, they're not. They're awesome. We see them, you know, you see a rough cut of the film when you do your post-sync, when you do your ADR. So we see it, we see it once there, and then, uh, then you see it again at like a premiere or a preview screening or something. So that's twice. And then you'll probably see it a third time somewhere along the way. So by the time the film comes out, you're done. You really... Yeah. Well, you but know. don't you see it later on, like maybe in a couple of years later, at cable, you're up late, you can't sleep. Well, there, there you go, I remember that. There has yeah. been the occasional time my wife and I have been sitting there and Priscilla's come on or LA Confidential's come on, and we've gone, oh, yes. I was going to say, because Priscilla's on a lot late at night on cable. It is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 We call it the Santorum Channel. Yeah. Of course. 
I know he's a big fan of the show, yeah. actually. <laughs> um, a, well, that movie, though, it became such an iconic thing, mm -hmm. that, uh, particularly amongst the gay community, right? That do, do you get uh, interesting offers for personal appearances? It's a gay movie? No, I never said it was a gay movie. I said it was popular with the gay community. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of a gay movie like as well. Kylie oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Kylie Minogue. Or yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, Kylie, Kylie Minogue? Yeah, she's Australian. She's she, popular with the she, gay community. Wait. I think she's from Canberra. I think she is from I Canberra. I think she is from Canberra. She's not, actually, and she hates you for saying that. Well, you, <laughs> there was so, somebody's from Canberra. No, what do you no call people from Canberra? Canberoons? Uh, no one's from... I don't know. What do you call people from Canberra? Canberonians? Canberians. Canberians? 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 Cam... Cam... Well, people usually from Canberra deny they're from Canberra. Yeah, right, so right, right, right. Hasn't, there hasn't been enough time to sort of establish a, a real name. Well... Perhaps we should have a competition. What do you call someone from Canberra? Lingenberry. <laughs> a, deser a deserter. It was, it was a first attempt. We can go back over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we can cut that out and add a bit where I fall through the roof and Look, land Canberra's on the Canberra's one of those yeah. places. It's, it's, like, it's like Washington, I guess. It's a, it's a totally sort of man-made city and, and yeah. uh, constructed for the government. And uh, a lot of cities are man-made, don't it's we? True. Uh, it's true. It's uh, true. It sounds like a dark thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the thing about get... Canberra, though, it's like a series of circles. So you end up going round and round and round and you never actually get out of there. I mean, it's the strangest <laughs> design. It's the opposite to New York. Yeah, yeah, which is squares. It is squares. Yeah, yeah. That's where you want to go. And whenever you're building another city in Australia, go for the straight line pattern. Yeah, I don't know whose idea that was. Uh, they're probably... Anyway. Ah, never mind. We've got to take a commercial Enough break. Enough about Canberra. It's time for a commercial break. <laughs> Music, a little bit of a music. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. I'm with Guy Pearce, who's not from Canberra, or at least, or at least he says he's not. From but I'm thinking of thinking of moving there. Yeah, yeah. No, not. I wouldn't right now. I'd no. let I'd let this episode die Don't down. Know, yeah. yeah. No, uh, let's well, real estate should be cheap there after this uh, after this episode. No, I don't know. It's never cheap in Canberra. No, no. <laughs> Cost you about two thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> For some free pornography yeah. and fireworks. Yeah. Well, if the pornography's right, the fireworks will come of their own accord, <laughs> really. <right. laughs> like an added bonus. Yeah. Uh, big cash prize, mouth organ, or uh, awkward pause? I think big cash prize. Oh. What time is the Shadow Stevens? It's time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. Here's how it's done. Fifty dollars in quarters. Fifty dollars mm -hmm. US in quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You try and guess what's in the box. If you're correct, Jeff will tell you. If you are incorrect, something awful will happen to you. <laughs> Worse than actually being on the show. I think I'm going to guess what's in his head. Oh, you mean in the box? All right then. Yeah. Well, in his box. Yes, exactly. All right, well, I've got, I've, we've got to set up for this. This, okay. is, this is a bit of a, an experiment. All right, Jeff, you ready? Mm, yeah. All right, I'm imagining a box in my hand. Okay, it's there. What's in my box, guy? $2,500. Sounds like a promising answer. Jeff, what is in my box? We would have also accepted mustard drizzle. <laughs> but the correct answer is My first guest tonight, hugely talented actor, great big movie star. His latest film, The Rover, is available now for pre-order on the iTunes. Guy Pierce, everybody, Guy Pierce. Were they, your, were they your two testicles that you just put on the table? Is that what... No, 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 no. Look, these are way too 
Way too, too big. Too big and hard. Yeah, no, mine are, are much smaller and delicate. Uh -huh. <laughs> and one of them's in New York. So I hear. I am very happy that you're here because the last time you were here, we have to take care of this. The last time you were here, I was joking about the uh, city of Canberra in Australia. You know, just a joke. And didn't, didn't mean to be rude. And, and it seemed you that joined, I joined in a bit. In. Yes, yeah, yes. and you had to apologize to I Canberra. I did have to apologize, yes. And I did too. I apologized every night for months. Did you? Did they accept your apology? I don't think so. Right. No. I'm, I think they were angry. I, I'm nervous to go back because I'm not sure that they've accepted my apology. I did apologize as well publicly. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're Australian. And the funny thing is, I love Canberra, and I, I don't know why. Oh, I'll knock I'm it off. Well, I actually do. I do. It's a beautiful place. But I just got on a roll and got yeah, Well, you know, the thing is, sometimes. Um, it it happens in comedy that you make fun of things that you actually love. Yes. Canberrans. I'm saying nothing. No, no, and you're, you're quite right. I, would, I wouldn't want to get you into all that hot water again. All over again. Let's no. talk about Melbourne. Let's talk about Melbourne. Wow. <laughs> Let me tell you some No, I, lo I love Melbourne too. I've been to Melbourne. I've never been to Canberra, so I felt bad about it, it's actually. Very, it's beautiful. It's a lovely lake. Oh, well, there you are then. So, yeah. Early Griffin. Sounds like a magical land. It is a uh, magical land. <laughs> What about um, Melbourne, though, I've been to? That's lovely. It, it's great. I, I must You're from admit, there, right? Sort I, well, of. Well, I'm from England originally and right. grew up in Australia and, and ended up in, in Melbourne after having been brought up in Geelong, which is just south. Geelong? I've been to Geelong. What were you doing in Geelong? I, I... <laughs> little on the side, a little extracurricular activity? Well, it, was, it, was, it was the only activity at the time. I see. But I was just there doing it. And, um, Geelong, didn't Geelong have a good uh, Australian rules football team as yes, well, don't the they? the best. Yes. yes. The Cats. I, oh, yeah. Wait, wait. No You're one, just doing that because you like cats. No one has any idea of what I'm talking about. <laughs> but no, they're a great football team. Right, I've rem they must be because I've heard of them. That's a yeah. rough game, the Australian rules football. It is a rough game. It's kind of, I think it's the best game. Uh, you know, not that I want to be disparaging against any other sport. No, no, I mean, trouble did, you, did, you, uh, did you watch the World Cup when it was on uh, some time ago? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I, uh, Turned out uh, amazing. How did it turn out? Again? Well, you know, it was... Uh, I forget. Um, it was a, it was, I don't it want was to a get controversial all, No, game. because I had to apologise to so many people right. after that, so because I don't want to talk said, about it no. anymore. Is that, a is that a tattoo on your wrist? I've got a bunch of tattoos, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't. My what? wife is, uh, is lathered in them, but I don't have any. Really? That's a bit saucy. She's a saucy lady. <laughs> really? What does your wife do? She's a social worker. Really? Yeah. That's an interesting job. That's quite a difficult job, yeah, I'd imagine. Yeah. In Melbourne? In Melbourne, absolutely. Does she work down in St Kilda? She works all over the place. Right. St Kilda used to be rough, but it's been gentrified now, hasn't it? It has been yuppified a little bit. I yeah. live just around the corner from there, and uh, it's, uh, it's been yuppified. But there's still some, you know, uh, dark, dirty secrets <laughs> in, <there. laughs> I remember, in the corners of I remember going swimming one night about one o'clock in the morning, so it tells you what kind of... I was like in Australia, killed. yeah, in, in the bay, in, in the bay, yeah, and you coming out, and people were like, "You got to be careful." I was like, "What sharks?" No, no, needles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you don't get killed by some wild animal in Australia, yeah. you'll 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 step on a needle. Have you ever been into the to the outback of Australia? Yeah, well, obviously with the rover, we filmed. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You would so you're right out there. there in the uh... in the desert. We did the proposition uh, up in Winton in Queensland, so that was a, sort of really in the middle of nowhere. And Do you see crocodiles? Did Priscilla? you see that? Uh, not in Winton, no. No, there's not much living there. There's a few opal miners, uh, but not many crocodiles. Opal miners? Yeah. Oh, I like that. There's a lot of uh, I'd like to rare, be rare, rare stones in Australia. <laughs> stones with an S. Yes, yes, yeah. as opposed to... Stoned. Oh, stoned. No, no. I, no, I remember. I, I, was, I was very... I was a different person when I was in Australia Where? last time. Yeah, I was participating in a different form of recreational lifestyle. Well, it sounds like it if you went to Geelong and you... Yeah, yeah, I was in Geelong, saw a bit of the uh, Aussie rules and, um, and also some football. Made up some of your own rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. And then Sydney I was in as well. You must have spent some Sydney's time there. Sydney's a lot of fun. We actually, we, when we did Priscilla, we started in Sydney and then we worked our way through the That's desert. a fabulous well. film. Do you, oh, thank you. The, now, the thing about Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, that's one of those films like Rocky Horror, isn't it? It's like people kind of become people dress addicted. Up, yeah. People dress up, they go to the, this like midnight screenings in cities around the world. Obviously, you ever been to one? The, I haven't, but I've, I've seen people coming out of one. Uh, there's a lot of coming out around that movie. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, a lot of dressing up and coming out. And yeah. the, the, the stage show, obviously, is doing really well all around the world. And yeah. it's on in Manila, Priscilla in Manila now. Oh, that's lovely. Which I'd be very curious to see. Well, go and see it. I think there's a lot of curious, and indeed by curious, in the... Uh, I think so. Going to see Priscilla in Manila. And try, try curious as well. Try curious. All the curi uh, well, Very good. Very Well, it very... would be, what is the plural of curious? Uh, cur curious, sir. Curious. No, that's that's curious. more curious. Is, can you be? Can you, can you have a plural of a a group of curious? What is a group of curious people called? A fabulous of curious. <laughs> a cup of curious. A yeah, cup of I'm curious. Sure. A fabulous of curious. A, a a grindle. You know what? You know the one for actors, don't you? It's for a, actors? Yes. Uh, no. A whinge. A whinge of. A actors. whinge of actors. Yeah. You know what my favourite one is? Ravens. Do you know what it is for ravens? Well, I know what it is for crows. Right. Crows is a murder of crows. Murder of crows. Do you know what it is for ravens? An unkindness of ravens. Wow, that's a little... That's, that's creepy, isn't it? Yes, an unkindness. An unkindness of ravens. Ah, ah. Do you think the crows gave that to the ravens because the ravens gave... Are these Aussie Rules the... football teams we're talking about Maybe. now? Yeah, I think so. Do you have a cat? No, I have three dogs. Oh, hold on. Jeff's battery's oh. about to go. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> when you... <laughs> That, when, you hear that, when you hear that beep, you have about a half a second and then his battery goes. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. He'll be fine. We'll a half a second you. to do what? Uh, I don't to know. To change the battery. To know, it's like, oh no, it's too late. Yeah. I think it's a design flaw. They should pr I love talking about him when his battery's out because he can't do anything about it. Of course. It. Is that a sort of a rude hand sign he's making? Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> It might be a rude hand sign in Australia because you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Now here, all and the, the rude hand signs go up the up way. Is, that's right. But in the Southern in Hemisphere, Australia, yeah. Australia, down below. That's probably what it is. Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Guy Pearce and Jeff. I said, what's going on, brother? That film was badass. Yeah. So it's, uh, it, it obviously didn't end well, though, that scene. For no, me, it did didn't it? End, no, it didn't end well. But, but that's not the end of the movie, is it? No. No, because it, it, here's a, a tip on talk shows. Never bring the clip as being the end of the movie. <laughs> yep, that's it. All that's done. it. That's and then the, the titles story. roll. And yep. you're like, oh, Knocked he hit him in the head. head. Uh, yeah. No, that looks like quite badass. That movie. Oh, look, it's, a, it's a really interesting film. David Michaud, who made Animal Kingdom, okay. uh, went on to make this. And Rob Pattinson's in the film as well, as everybody knows, who does a remarkable job. And it's a, it's a very... Is he, he's not sparkly in this film, is he? He's, he's the furthest thing from sparkly. Good, good. It's time. It's time for him to move on from yeah, sparkles. Yeah, he's pretty grotty, yeah. grotty and grimy. But, good for him. But great. But it's a very... It's a heavy movie. Yeah. What's it about? It's a heavy... Oh, it's oh you don't even want to tell me it's, it's that heavy? It's kind of hard to say. Oh, wow. Well, and then I don't tell me. Is it about... Yeah. It's really about a man who has he's really come to the end of the road in his life and he has one thing left to do before he potentially ends his own life. Oh. And his car gets stolen, so oh. that one thing he has left to do, which is in the car, he, he is then, uh, you know... He has to go after and get there. To, that's right. Yeah. So it's like, dude, where's my car? But... <laughs> <laughs> With a heavy sort of... But it, if, if Satan had made yeah, Dude, Where's right. My Car, yeah. it would be like yes, that. Yes, it should just be called Satan, Where's My Car? Satan, Where's My Car? <laughs> Satan, it's not here. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it. That's right. Yeah. Get away from me. Dude, sweet. Dude, sweet. Yeah, pretty much. It's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's like Priscilla. Uh, a lot of songs and dancing. No, and no, it's... Uh, well, you like a bit of that, though, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, and David, who made the film, really has a, a very particular style, so it's, it's great to work with him and, you know... And be well, good. I should look forward to seeing it. It's lovely to see you again. And, and again, before we finish, my good wishes and fondest regards to the people of Canberra. And mine too. <laughs> Guy Pearce, everybody. We'll be right back. Are you getting the jobs? Are you? I am. Yeah. I, yeah, it's been good. Yeah. Cheeks and valleys. We but... like, no, we like the beautiful Australian actresses in you LA. Do. Yeah, they do, do well here. Yeah, Guy Pearce, he's done very well over here. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that's cruel. It's not cruel. He's Can't beautiful. You? Have you seen his job? I, I did a film with him. Did yes. you really? I did a film with him. He's very nice. He's so lovely. He's very Isn't nice. He? But the thing is, when he wears his glasses, I get a little intimidated. Because he's a little smart. Then. Yeah, because I'm suddenly like, oh, it's glasses, Guy Pierce. It's like beard, Robin Williams. Do you know what I mean? <laughs>